Hi guys, just to continue on with the mind map, okay, a few quick points now, again, I'm going to talk about two more today. Um, first of all, the orientation, obviously that's a huge part of the passive house design, okay, because it has to use the heat from the sun uh, to heat the house, really, okay, it's massively, massively important for it. So look, in the northern hemisphere, for instance Ireland, all of Europe, the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west okay so basically guys in a passive house design when the house is being planned and designed the long facade of the house which means the longer part of the house okay be it if you're the rectangular shape of a house the rectangle the long side of the house should be facing south or very very close to south okay that's to maximize the amount of sunlight that it's going to get throughout the day so basically guys a large amount of glazing to maximize the solar gain so what that means guys is on the south facade of the house there's going to have to be a lot of windows large windows okay so a lot of sunlight's getting into the house to heat up the inside of the house okay then the complete opposite on the northern facade of the house okay they want a minimal a minimal amount of glazing okay and obviously you're going to have to have a few windows but small windows so that minimizes heat loss okay um in a in a passive house if possible the house should be narrow so that when the sun is shining through from the southern facade that it's going deep into the house okay so an open plan kind of type house is very very beneficial as well okay and then the most used rooms in the house guys for instance your kitchen and your living room they should be on the south face of the house okay maybe rooms such as a bathroom or a utility room things that aren't used too often and don't need to be extremely warm okay they can be in the northern side of your house okay look and a few very simple points then for the windows guys you know yourselves windows are a massive part but they're expensive for a passive house okay they need to be triple glazed maybe the gaps between the panes then you see your three panes they're filled with an argon or a krypton gas and also the window frames on which the glass is in they need to be really well insulated as well so you're spending a lot of money on windows for a passive house design okay now in regards to the sketches guys and i'll put up these pictures okay there's no need of a sketch for triple glazed glass that's fine that's self-explanatory now so for the orientation i done this quick sketch here i actually only looked up google and looked up the path of the sun in the northern hemisphere and then this was an image that came up but it's actually a simple image to draw guys okay so obviously in the northern hemisphere the east you're going to have your sunrise okay in red then guys you have a high sun or summer sun okay it goes high it goes up high in the sky and it travels from east to west whereas in the winter sun okay sorry that's in green so i should write that in here actually this is the winter path it's lower okay but it travels along the southern facade of the house in the northern hemisphere okay so that's a very simple simple sketch about the orientation of the sun and then guys another simple sketch that i did and i'll put up a better picture of this okay so a very simple in the winter sun obviously your summer sun will be up a bit higher okay you're going to get your sunlight streaming through the large triple glazed south facing windows okay and you can see as well that the rooms are quite deep so what i mean by that is that they go you know the sun can stream far back into the house heats up this is what the red arrows are for there just heat rising okay so the sun is heating up the building and you can see in my northern facade here guys smaller rooms smaller windows okay so basically you get a lot of solar gain coming from the sun in a passive design design it's it's absolutely imperative for it really okay